Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, I'm Alan Baker, I'm a winemaker for Cartograph Wines. We're here in Healdsburg, California in our tasting room. And every Friday, we, we call it Library Friday, we open an older vintage of our, uh, typically it's Pinot Noir, and just check out how, how the wine is evolving in the bottle and how it's changed over time since our, our first release. And uh, if you cannot uh, join us here on Fridays to get a taste of the library wines, you can always order these wines from cartographwines.com, our website. And if you have any questions or comments about the wine, you can always email me, alan at cartographwines.com as well. So happy to talk you through some of the older vintages. Uh, but these videos will stay on Facebook. They'll also be on our YouTube channel. So if you want to just browse through older, uh, older vintages to see if you might want to try something, you can always do that. So this is, uh, today's wine is a 2016 uh, Pinot Noir from the Starscape Vineyard, which is right in the heart of the Russian River Valley, kind of that area that made the Russian River Valley famous for Pinot Noir back in the 70s. And, uh, you know, our current release of this wine is 2018, so this isn't really an old wine, uh, but we tasted it uh, in January, and it's really come a long way in the last couple of years, and it's really integrated nicely, so we figured this would be a nice, a nice wine to try today. And so it's, it's not an old wine by any, any stretch of the imagination, but it has evolved to a really beautiful kind of one of those first peaks that a wine gets to, that a Pinot gets to, where it's really integrated well. Some of the fruit backs off from the front of the palate and you get more earthy, earthy notes coming on, and it's really done that well. So we produce 257 cases of this wine, and if you're one of those people that likes to keep track of what's going into the wine. This is four different blocks on the Starscape property uh, with three different clones, 667, 777, and Pomard. Um, and it's, it's really a great vineyard. And, and every year when I write these tasting notes for, um, for Starscape, it used to be called Floodgate, you might know it by that name. Um, I, I always kind of think I, I'm gonna have something different this year and I won't use the standard Bing Cherry mushroom uh, Coca-Cola uh, aromatic profile tasting notes, but that's exactly what this, this uh, vineyard delivers every single year. So um, that's definitely the kind of core of this wine aromatically, but in the last, say, two years or so, a bunch of like uh, dried leaves, um, oh man, some violets, so there's a really nice kind of uh, floral note to this as well. And the 16, it was a great growing season. And this wine, very mouth-watering. It has a very elevated acid profile, so it's very lively, vibrant on the palate. Um, and it's still feeling very useful um, as it crosses the palate. But it's, it's a little more harmonious than it was a couple years ago, but uh, definitely very fresh and lively on the palate. And that Bing Cherry that you get aromatically, as you take a sip, that kind of transforms into kind of a tart pie cherry, a baked pie, uh, with, oh man, there's, there's a little bit of cranberry on there too, both aromatically and on the palate, so it's very vibrant, um, but it is slowly building some palate weight. So what was very fruit forward two years ago is a little more broad on the palate and stretches nicely into those more kind of earthy notes as well. Um, and there's a hint of something kind of on the finish, something minty, maybe like a tarragon even, uh, that, that also adds to kind of that mouth-watering uh, effect and also uh, adds a nice savory uh, uh, note to this wine. So this, this is really uh, a wine that is at the beginning of a long journey. Uh, I say that even though it's two years in the bottle, uh, but it definitely will age for easily another eight plus years. Um, so I feel like this is a very great example for a wine that has had just enough time to kind of emerge from its cocoon and, and show its true, uh, its true colors as a, as a wine as it ages. So, Alan Baker for Cartograph Wines. Library Friday is every Friday here in the Cartograph Tasting Room and online. So check it out. Thank you.